indeed it is a good morning. Look at the beautiful sunshine we have up here. And the wife says, uh, up in Steinbaugh, it's raining like crazy. Yeah, that's the way we're heading. We got about a uh, minimum of eight and a half hours up to Winnipeg to our terminal. So, uh, yeah, we got us a, a good day worth of driving yet to do today. But that's all right. We had us a good night's sleep, and uh, now we are uh, back on the road. Yeah, we drove quite late yesterday, so that's why the sun is so high already this morning. Because it's already 9.30 here now, because we uh, stopped yesterday quarter after 11. So that means quarter after 9, I can do my pre-trip this morning. That's my 10-hour break. And then we can get on the road again. So here we are. Yes, indeed. So let's get on down the road and make some miles. Yeah. I am going to be happy to be home again. That's for sure. Although this next weekend it looks like I'm going to have to be working again. But... Oh well, that's the way it is with trucking. You can't have every weekend off. And especially if you want to make any kind of money. I mean, there's a few companies that I know of that it's possible to be home almost every weekend, but I don't really like doing flatbed, so I have a friend that does flatbed, and he's usually home every weekend, but I don't really care for flatbed, so, uh, I guess I uh, won't be doing any of that. Especially in winter when you have to tarp. I hate that. But yeah, we stayed on the uh, west side of uh, Swift Current here yesterday for the night. So, stayed there at that uh, asshole truck stop. Yeah, kind of a uh, different place I had to park in there. But, yeah, well, it's the way it goes. Hey, let's get this show rolling and uh, appreciate you guys tuning in today. Yes, indeed. Here we are in the Regina, Saskatchewan, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. And it is starting to get a little bit more cloudy out there. Yeah, it is definitely getting more cloudy here. But hey, we got a little bit of construction going on up here on the east side of Regina. So we gotta reduce the speed limit up here a little bit, but uh, that's all right. We will make it no matter what, but uh, yeah. So far we got okay sunshine up here, but uh, apparently in Steinbach it is raining, so uh, we can expect to get some rain later on today. But uh, guess what, tomorrow is the day on June 1st, no, actually today, today is the day, June 1st, uh, we are going to do a live show in the evening today, but I mean, by the time you watch this, it's already seven days ago, so you'll have already seen it, but uh, yeah, today is the day where we're going to be announcing the winner, who's going to be the winner for our contest giveaway, that would be fantastic. I'm kind of curious myself because I don't know the number that my son has chosen. I told him to keep it to himself until the day of today. So tonight when I get home, we're going to sit down and uh, we'll probably do a little bit of a live show so we can uh, announce who the winner is for uh, our contest. So that will be exciting. Definitely, that's for sure. But yeah, it looks like they are definitely making a new highway up here. That's for sure. This road is rough like hell. <laughs> yeah, that's just really rough. That's for sure. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here, and we'll update you as the day progresses. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to come into Manitoba. Yes, indeed. We've been giving her for a good 
good while now and I still see nice sunshine I don't know what these guys are talking about rain up in uh, Steinbach but uh, I mean yeah it's a little cloudy but uh, not cloudy enough in my opinion to be raining but hey what do I know I'm not a weather forecaster I'm a youtuber <laughs> supposedly yeah that's right but yeah here we are just about to enter into Manitoba Welcome home, sweet home, right? Well, we still have us uh, about three and a half hours to Winnipeg, so uh, yeah, I can't wait till this day is over. Relax for a Crossing day again. Entering Manitoba. All right, there are cha zone. changing time zone too. All right. Yeah, I know we are changing time zone, but yeah, here we are in Manitoba now officially. See that coming up there right to the right? It says, Welcome to Manitoba. Buongiorno. All right. I guess that's how you say that. I, I don't know for sure, but <laughs> I'm not a French person, so I can't say it properly, probably, anyways. But yeah, here we are. Back in Manitoba again. It's been a while. I miss it too. Want to go home and see the family. Enjoy a little, enjoy a little bit time at home. That's for sure. I am now in Winnipeg, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. We are almost at our terminal already. So we uh, talked to dispatch and asked them if they got a load for us to bring back to the yard. And they said no. But we do have an empty trailer that we need you to bring her back to Steinbach. So that's what we're going to be doing. And these roads are really rough right here on this stretch anyways. So we're just taking a real easy going down here, but yeah, as you might be able to tell on the camera, it just started drizzling, a light drizzle. Not real heavy, but just a real light drizzle. Yeah. But yeah, it's already a little bit after six o'clock. Yeah, we might be home just after supper time, it looks like. By the time we do our trailer switch and all that, probably be going to be 7 o'clock or close to 7. All that, because it kind of sucks the way they got the system set up over here. You know, you got to, uh, you got to uh, drop your trailer and then go like a block down the road to bring your paperwork there and then come back and pick up the empty so that's a little time consuming but that's the way their setup is set up so i guess that's what we have to do but anyways we'll go do uh do that take care of business and then uh we'll talk with you guys later we are already on our way home sweet home yeah we are just about to come up to Blumenart already and guess what, it's starting to rain more and more it looks like. So I guess it's just more of uh, clouds over here because up there in Winnipeg it was just really fine drizzle and up here it's kind of raining a little bit more so uh, yeah, we got a little bit of rain going on but oh yeah that's okay. I guess, but yeah, we will be uh, we'll be home here in about ten minutes. Well, at least at the yard, you know, I'll drop my trailer and then uh, we'll go home, sweet home, and then we'll do a live show. Yeah, we gotta we gotta announce to see who the winner is. Well, I gotta find out what the number is first from my son. I haven't asked him yet what the number is, so gonna do that at the live show yes indeed and by the time you watch this you will have already selected one so uh, congratulations to you whoever you are that would be nice to see somebody win well there will be somebody winning that's for sure definitely there's gonna be a winner yeah 
We pick whoever is closest to the number that my son has chosen. Yes, indeed. But yeah, we'll be going home here and then uh, we'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Alrighty, guys and gals, we are here at home as you can probably tell. Yes, indeed, we are. And we just finished doing our live show here through all our social sites here or whatever you want to call it our facebook youtube twitch we did all three of them at the same time again and for some odd reason that program isn't telling me the comments that are coming in and stuff like that so fortunately i wasn't able to see the comments that came in through facebook i'm going to be working on that and see if i can maybe somehow improve that uh, that area i know i probably need a little bit of improvement in that department so hopefully you can fix that here eventually but i did get a couple of requests here so uh or at least one uh from jeff lunder i think he calls it l-o-n-d-r-e is his last name i'm just looking at it here at the laptop right now he asked me if I could give his son a shout out. His name is Dylan. Yes, indeed, we could do that. I promised him that we would do that on today's video. And here it is. You got yourself a shout out for your son. Definitely. I got a question from Jeff Tumber. How often are you in Pennsylvania? Well, depending on where my load goes sometimes i do come through pennsylvania and other times i do not so it's always depending on that right but uh, yeah i mean uh, stay in contact and uh, we can always uh, try and arrange it to meet up i'm not sure exactly which area in pennsylvania you're from but uh, hey it would be awesome to meet up with you guys that's for sure just reading some uh, some other comments here jeff I guess Jeff is uh, leaving another comment here. He says, awesome show. So I appreciate that. Hey, yes, sir, e indeed. Jeffrey has also said another comment there after I replied. And uh, so, yeah, that's about, uh, I think, about all I see in here. I got Andrew. Andrew uh, uh, said he's from Deer River, Ontario. I'm going to have to look that up and see whereabouts that is at. But uh, yeah, so we are done. It's already almost 11. Yeah, it's already 11 o'clock at night here. I just finished looking at everything and replying to the comments and all that good stuff. So we're going to go to bed here very soon. So one other thing I wanted to show you guys is this bad boy over here. Yes, indeed. It's starting to go a little bit dead, but... Uh, yeah, this is what I got my wife uh, last week for our anniversary. Yes, indeed. And I use this flashlight here so I get a little bit better lighting on myself. So, so you can see me a little bit better. Yes, indeed. And today we did use our professional mic to do our live show. Only problem was I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go in there and do maybe a little editing on there. Maybe cut that first little part out so you guys don't have to watch a minute and a half of no audio in there. So that's kind of sucks, but hey, we fixed it. And that's all that matters, right? So, uh, but yeah, I think it would turn out to be an awesome show. I mean, it was more about announcing who the winner was gonna be or finding out who was gonna be the winner because my son had the number and I had no idea what the number was going to be so uh, so yeah that was awesome but we are done so i appreciate you guys tuning in today's show and we'll be back tomorrow so stick around and we'll see what we will be up to tomorrow so have a go on and we'll catch you on the next one this is trucker rudy signing out <laughs>